All right, we got a cicada laying eggs in captivity using the oviposter. Now I'm not sure she's done or if she's picking up to go to a different Okay, she's going to use she's going to go to a different spot on the branch. These things will use that oviposter and they'll make several incisions in the branch and they'll lay several sets of egg cases. Really interesting that these are doing it in captivity. This is about the fourth one that I've had do this. Once she gets a good groove in the branch, she'll start depositing eggs again. I have two here that are mating. I mean, the fact that these are captive doesn't seem to bother them at all. These are all uh, 13 year cicadas. They're the Cassini species, which would be Magic Cicada Trade Cassini for the 13 year. So, given that these two are mating, probably we'll see this female laying eggs soon. We'll go back up the branch here. And again, you can see her starting to cut into the branch now. The oviposter is the black structure um, that's coming out of the middle of the abdomen there. At the tip of the abdomen is the actual capsule where the eggs are stored. And this is how they'll do it in the wild. Now in the wild this actually damages the branch. And where there are large numbers of these insects, you'll actually see the outer branches of the tree die after the cicadas are gone, and they call it flagging damage. It doesn't kill the tree, but it looks ugly for a few weeks. These are all the Cassini species. These were collected um, near Hardy, Arkansas, just south of Hardy, Arkansas, along the south fork of the Spring River. We'll go back to our mating pair here. They are they are really getting it on. Now these two are actually a lot more animated than most mating pairs that I've seen. These are, uh, yeah, these guys are, <laughs> they're really going at it. And anyways, mating cicadas, egg-laying cicadas in captivity. Interesting stuff.